and welcome back and today at People's Voice Media we're going to be talking about the Morant's Professional Solid State Recorder and this is an audio recorder. Okay, so when you first look at it, it is quite complicated. So first step is how do you turn it on? There's a switch on the side that you just slide on and it powers up. Once it's powered up, basically you can just press the record button it will start recording and press the stop button and it will stop recording. Okay. When you're recording, you'll notice that it has a meter at the front that shows the recording levels and there's a, a dial here that you can adjust to make the recording levels either higher or lower depending on how loud your subject is. When you want to play it back, just press the play button and it has a speaker built in. With this recorder, you'd have a microphone built in and it's got a stereo mic on the left and the right. Also, you can plug in at the back. If you have an XLR mic, you can plug that in or you can also plug in using the line in. And on the front, this is based for plugging in headphones so you can monitor what you're recording. Okay, one of the key things is that when you finish recording, how do you get your sound files off the recorder and onto your computer? And this uses a simple USB connection, which you can plug in the side and then plug into your computer. Alternatively, what you can do is pop out the, the flap at the front, press the button to reject the compact flash card and then you could put this into your card reader. One of the downsides, I guess, the recorder is that we're so used to technology with pocket-sized devices these days that this is a bit unwieldy. One of the reviews we've heard of this has been a bit of a brick because it is big and it is very sturdy. Now, the recorder actually uses standard batteries, which is great when you're out and about, but sometimes they don't last too long. One of the things we should say about the Morantz is that it is a professional recorder and because of this it's not something that you can just pick up and use. What you probably want to do is before you go out and use it, to spend half an hour getting yourself familiar with all the different features. After that it's a great little device.